Well, you guys yes, need to cook. Exactly. And Kelly and I are going to exactly. hang out. Awesome. Cool. Right. Woo! Finn and I are going to let you guys cook away. Okay. okay. Thank Perfect. you. All right, you tell me what to do. Okay, so this is the easiest sauce ever, mm -hmm. and we're literally just going to take everything and put it into our blender right here. Mm -hmm. So we have fresh ginger and a little bit of garlic. So you can throw I was going to use my there. finger, yep. but I'll okay. be a, a lady. And one works. Love Good. garlic. One works, and then we have a little bit of honey. Yep. Yeah, a little and bit all of these honey. ingredients are and in, they appear in your cooking book often. Yes, and I'm big on that. I like to yes. make sure that we're going to be using things over and over again. Uh -huh. I don't want there to oh. be a lot of waste. Just keep it really easy. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> that's that's good. what it's good for. Yep. Exactly. Uh, and this is tamari. Now this is a wheat-free soy sauce mm -hmm. style sauce, but you could totally substitute a low sodium soy sauce. And you love tamari. Fine. You've used tamari. I before, do. Right? Yeah. I think it has mm. a really nice, rich flavor. It has some mm. of that umami. Faith's oh, eating hello. already. Umami. I am. Umami. Umami, it has some umami. It's that fifth taste that's yeah. kind of like that you get in meat and Ooh, fifth right. taste. mushrooms. <laughs> and, right. Um, so this is some uh, fresh uh, orange zest. So we'll add that in, which mm. just has the most divine Very smell. Mm -hmm. Flavorful. It exactly. does. Yep. Such strong flavor. And then our fresh orange juice. Yes. Keep that pulp in there. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of water, because okay. we're going to be reducing this down. So that's going to help the flavor not be too strong and concentrated. Now, Faith, do you, do you cook pretty healthy in the house? I mean, um, now I do. <laughs> I, no, I mean, I, we try. We yeah. really do try. But but there are some times, you know. You got to have, yeah, you gotta yeah, have yeah, some fun. I mean, yeah. I'm from Mississippi, Force. Louisiana. But we have Holland. found a, a better way of cooking the things we the grew up eating healthier. Right. But this is incredible. Yeah. I mean, honestly. Should I grind or chop? Let's <laughs> <laughs> grind. Woo! Let's yeah. grind. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold the top. Hold the top. Oh. It's not just us, Kelly. Everybody oh does it. Oh my gosh. I have this at home too. It's got a life of its own. Okay, so Let's this is. Feet. They thought we were doing this. No, thing. it no. clicked. <laughs> okay. Well, the good news is. We have we some. Have one. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we have our beautiful scallops here. Now, I like to get wild scallops, and I also mm. get them frozen from Whole Sorry. Foods. Now, you'll find that some scallops have this little side muscle, and you just want to pull that off because that'll get kind of tough oh. when you're cooking. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, and so now let's get our, our butter bubbling. Now, you could substitute this for coconut oil or ghee if you wanted a dairy free mm -hmm. option, but I what personally like ghee. Love... Ghee is. <laughs> what are, you, are you making this stuff up? What? No, <laughs> exactly. Ghee. It's just a fun word. No, so it's, it's, it's literally butter that has a milk solid it's boiled out of it. Ah, so it's okay. a it's a sort of a dairy free. It's used in a lot of Indian cooking. Cool. So we're going to add our beautiful and very uh -huh. dry scallops to mm. our pan. We want to make sure there's a nice sizzle, so we'll turn uh -huh. that up. The drier the scallops are, the more you're going to get a golden brown caramelization. Oh, so what's nice. the best way? Do you pat them dry or just leave them out for a little bit? You can just bit. pat them dry. Exactly. Yeah. You just pat them dry with a dish towel, paper towel. Wonderful. Now, um, you mentioned when you came out earlier that scallops can be intimidating. Why do you think they're so intimidating for people? Well, I think Look they're at intimidating them. because <laughs> yeah. exactly, they have a life of their own. Yeah. Um, one, I think, because they cook quickly. Oh, um, and two, yes. yeah, exactly. It's on fire. The and ghee is on fire. Yeah, and you do want to probably have your um, fan on. your exhaust on. I'll be yeah. a fan. Yes. Exactly. But yeah. we, we want. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but this is what we want. We want it's it's interactive. It's, it's, it's an interactive yes. cooking experience. Yeah, exactly. So how long can we leave it um, on two one minute. side? Two About minutes. Two minutes. And, and here you'll see. And we'll go. We'll take our tongs to flip. And and what the, what I mean by they'll let you know is they won't stick when they're ready to be flipped. Uh, oh, so that is oh, all you do. Okay. That's a good. Yep. That's really cool. Exactly. Yeah. So that is the cooking process. It takes about three minutes total. Oh, total. So that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So two minutes and then flop her over. And yeah. And then and then, and then about once a minute. Flopped, it's about a minute on the other side. So that's then really, flipping really nice. on your plate. A little yeah. flipping flopping. Oh yes, look at that. That's beautiful. Beautiful. yes, girl. Oh, oh yes. yes, love scallops. Okay. And then, <laughs> yes. Cool. It's like, and it's yeah. talking to us. It is. Oh, it is. So we're, then we're going to deglaze our pan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Deglaze it. Glaze by, it. Mm -hmm, you just put some liquid in the pan and basically scrape off the goodness. What kind of liquid was that? So this is exactly what we made in that oh, blender. Okay. I got you. Mm -hmm. It's uh -huh. the same kind of thing. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And then you're just going to let <laughs> that. <laughs> um, that's what it should okay. look like. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then all you do is let this reduce for a few minutes until mm. it gets nice and thick and you know it's ready when it coats the back of your spoon oh. and it doesn't come back together so you do a little swipe. Right. And then I love to serve these with my tahini ginger mashed sweet potatoes mm. from my cookbook love as it. well. It's a great combination. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. Beautiful. Yes. Shall we? We yes. shall. Shall we? Shall. Here we go.
Thank you so oh much. My gosh, my right? pleasure. Oh. Thank you very much, Laura Lee. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you.